Hello, Allison from Tap from Spalding University's Counseling Center. Today I want to talk specifically about belly breathing. So this will be a pretty short video. Um, I've put up some other videos around meditation and the meditative process, and so if you want to go back and look at those, please absolutely do. But this one is really an intro into belly breathing. So for this one, the best way I think to teach belly breathing and for you to really get a feel for it is for you to lay down. So I'm not going to show you laying down right now because it would be harder for me to do that on camera. <clears throat> so if you can um, get into a comfortable position where you can lay down. So lay on your back. Um, if your back is bothering you and you can't lay down, absolutely sit in a chair, sit on the couch, whatever is more comfortable. If you can lay down and bend your knees, that is absolutely fine. Um, you'll see in a minute the point of lying down. And so wherever you are, whether that's lying down, you could even be standing up. Whatever works for you is fine. So if you are laying down, if you can get a pillow, a stuffed animal, uh, anything light that you could put on your belly, really right above your diaphragm. Diaphragm is that part right at the bottom of your rib cage. Um, so sort of the top of your belly in that way. So if you have something that you can put on your belly, then as you're laying down, put it there. If you're sitting or standing, just take your hands and I know you can't see in this video, but um, put them on your belly right around where your diaphragm is. And we're not going to close our eyes yet. We're just going to practice this sort of breathing. So when we take a deep belly breath, your chest is not going to be the thing that goes up. So you're not going to go like that and breathe more into your chest, which a lot of us do. And that causes just more shallow breathing. So you really want to imagine that air coming in, pulling it down through your nose, through your windpipe, all the way down to your diaphragm. And you can even imagine your diaphragm expanding in your body. The reason this is great to do on your back is because then if you have something um, on your belly, whether that can be your hands too, <clears throat> if you have that there, when you take that deep breath, you will either feel your hands push out or rise up or whatever's sitting on your belly, that will go up. So wherever you are, have your hands or something on your belly and just practice. Take a deep breath and really sort of push your belly out so that you can see it rise. and then let that go and just notice how your belly can really expand with each of those breaths you can feel the air really going down into your body into your belly expanding and then contracting again and now wherever you are if you feel comfortable I would invite you to close your eyes if that doesn't feel comfortable absolutely leave them open or just partially close them, uh, whatever feels most comfortable to you. And then we're just gonna do a few cycles of this breath. So again, whatever is on your belly, hands or an object, go ahead and leave that there and just pay attention to the rise and the fall of your belly. So a nice deep breath in as your belly rises up or pushes out. And then a nice exhalation as you feel your belly shrink back into your spine. Again, a nice in-breath. And then let it out as your belly contracts again. One more deep breath in. And back out again. Good. And now wherever you are, if you want to stay there and practice some more breathing, feel free to do that. If not, practice this kind of breathing throughout the day if you can. Pay attention when you can feel that breath deep in your body instead of just in your chest. So pay attention to that and enjoy the breathing. See you next time.